Hi, this is Amy. In this video, what I'm going to do is take my three MLA citations you can see on the left hand side of my screen in Microsoft Word, and I'm going to make changes based on the Purdue OWLS sample paper um, showing how an MLA works cited page is meant to look. So um, the Purdue OWL is a really good, extensive, and up to date resource. I really like to use it and recommend it. Um, so they have a lot of great examples of format and how to apply that format to individual citations but i also really like to rely on the mla sample paper because i think that it's just a really good resource to um, be able to refer to as far as what um, the document is meant to look like so let me pause the video so that i can get this full screen Okay, so um, it looks like you actually have to do click this link here um, to <laughs> open up full screen. And so I had to do that. But um, basically, I'm just going to go down here to page nine and look at the format for the work cited page. So it shows you what it's meant to look like, gives you lots of little notes about getting the format correct. And so what I'm going to do is go through the citations individually just to check and make sure there's no major formatting issues in the individual citations. And then I'm going to work on formatting the page itself. So one thing I'm noticing here is on this last citation on my page, um, the title of the book here is not italicized, and that is something that I would need to do to get it correct uh, in MLA format. So now that I've done that, it looks like my individual citations actually look okay. And now what I'm going to do is make changes to the page itself. So the first thing I'm going to do is just really quickly add in a double spacing. And you'll notice that within the lines of citations, the double spacing is pretty consistent. However, for some reason, Word also um, adds extra space between citations. So to remove that, I'm going to go up into the paragraph settings menu in the bottom right corner up here and just tell it don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. So as you can see, it is now evenly spaced throughout all the lines. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is just really quickly change my font to size new size times new roman size 12 um, and so now my font and my spacing is consistent with my example page here on the right i do also want to apply a hanging indent in my example paper right now you can see on the left hand column or margin um, everything is aligned pretty evenly on the left, whereas in my example page, uh, the first line of each citation is aligned to the left, subsequent lines are indented. So to actually apply that here in Word, I'm gonna go back into my paragraph settings menu. Under indentation, I'm just gonna choose hanging where it's a special. This part right here should autofill to 0.5, and we're gonna go ahead and say okay. If for some reason your lines are coming over further, do check on that 0.5 and make sure it's set. It is a default, but I have seen it mess up, so just be aware of that. Okay, um, let's go ahead and add in our label works cited. Um, I have multiple works here, so I'm gonna have that be plural, but if you just had one, you would just say works cited. Another thing at the top of the page that we need to do is go up here into the header, double click, I'm gonna tell it page number, top of page, and then select plain number three. I'm gonna type in my last name, and then I'm going to highlight that text and change it to match my body font. That is one of the more common issues that I do see in student papers. Okay, so we're really looking great so far. The only issue um, that I'm noticing I just noticed something within my last citation here. Um, this one is doing last first and last first. You can see here in my example work side, we have last first and then first last. So I do need to actually move this person's name here and take out that comma. So now it is correctly formatted with MLA. Like I said, you can look at the example citations to get everything formatted correctly within the individual citations. Um, I just look at so many citations that I can kind of spot that kind of stuff um, more easily, I guess. Um, so yeah, so what we're going to do now is we do need to have our citations listed alphabetically on the page. So you can do that by grabbing individual citations and dragging them around. Um, but there is an automatic alphabet alphabetization tool in Word, and it's right up here. And you just click 
and say OK. Now, I personally never change any of the default settings here, and that's always worked for me. Um, I believe it'll probably work for you. So anyway, that is all the changes that I would need to make. So pretty short and sweet and hopefully helpful. Um, best of luck on your projects. And if you guys have questions, feel free to reach out either to me or to another librarian or maybe even your teacher who's grading your assignment.